Lesson 11.3a, Discovering Angle-Angle Similarity. Similar figures have the same shape but may have different sizes. Two triangles are similar if their corresponding angles are congruent and the lengths of their corresponding sides are proportional. Take a look at these two red triangles. We can see that this angle is 75 degrees and this angle is 75 degrees and this angle is 30. Well, this triangle has angles that are 75, 75, and 30. When we look at the sides, this one is 8 centimeters in length. This one's 4 centimeters. That's half of that one. This one has a side here that's 15 centimeters, and this one is 7 and 5 tenths centimeters. Again, it's half of this one. They're similar, and their sides are proportional. So remember from the previous video, the triangle sum theorem states that the sum of the interior angle measures of a triangle is 180 degrees. The measure of angle A plus the measure of angle B plus the measure of angle C is equal to 180 degrees. If two angles in one triangle are congruent to two angles in another triangle, they have angle-angle similarity and must be proportional. For angle A, it's 20 degrees, and for angle D, it's 20 degrees. So that's a pair that are congruent. Then we have angle C that's 45 degrees, and angle F that's 45 degrees. We have two pairs of angles that are congruent, so they have angle-angle similarity and must be proportional. Now take a look at these two right triangles. We have Angle P is 50 degrees and angle R is 90 degrees. And in this triangle, angle S is 50 degrees and angle U is 90 degrees. And by the triangle sum theorem, two pairs of congruent angles is enough information to ascertain that the triangles are similar. The measure of angle Q must be congruent to the measure of angle T. These two angles must be congruent for the triangles to each have interior angles that total 180 degrees. The measure of angle Q and the measure of angle T must each be 40 degrees. So we would have 50 degrees plus 40 degrees plus the 90 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. They're similar. They're not the same size, but they're similar. Similar figures are similar in a specific way. The corresponding angles are congruent, but the lengths of their corresponding sides may not be congruent, though they will be proportional. If you were to quickly look at these two triangles, would you say that they were similar? So be careful. Visual inspection is not enough to determine if two triangles are similar. One of the triangles may be rotated. Both triangles have a 75 degree angle and they both have a 60 degree angle. The measure of angle B and the measure of angle F must each be 45 degrees, which makes them similar and proportional. We can turn this one and put it next to this one and say, oh, you know what? They do kind of look the same now, but that's because it was rotated. See? So visual inspection is not enough. Look at their angle pairs. We finished part A. We're moving on to part B. We're going to talk about using the AA similarity, the angle-angle similarity postulate. Keep going. I'm proud of you, and please join me for the next part of the lesson. Bye.